Thanksgiving Day, we'll be celebrating and giving thanks for the bountiful harvest we had this year, and it included record production in these peaches. We have uh, two acres here, it's nine rows and 16 varieties. And we picked about four, 1,600 baskets, 800 bushels of peaches through the season, starting late July and ending in late September as it was. We planted these trees mainly in 1996, six rows that year, in a decision to uh, try to grow peaches again. We had peaches in the old apple orchard scattered through in the 50s and 60s, but X disease, which came about in the late 60s, wiped them out. In 96, we didn't have the fence around this uh, farm here yet. We're at Hampton Station, by the way. Uh, so the deer, who don't like peaches, came and ate every tree down to three inches of growth that year and, and killed a number of them. So they didn't uh, have enough reserves to survive the winter. So we uh, concluded there was a need for the deer fence, eight foot high, woven wire. It's very effective. In planting the trees, we guarded against mice and woodchuck damage by putting those white covers on the tree. Peach trees are very tender, so you don't want a wire cover, wire mouse guard, because it can cut into the tree itself. We're looking here at a Ernie's Choice tree. This is what we call a bad crotch angle. It went and broke this year because of the heavy load on the branch there. Some of the other trees we got some supports under before the branches would break, but that's always a danger when you have a heavy load of peaches like we did this year. Site selection in this orchard uh, is a southern site on Bath soils, southern facing slope. But it, nonetheless, we have trouble with water. Too much water, peaches don't like. Peaches need a well-drained soil. So we've adopted the South African raised bed system for the last three rows we planted here, where we raise up the beds uh, several inches above the uh, surrounding soils with the furrow on each side. We basically did that by plowing uh, both ways, planted the trees down the center of the uh, raised bed there. Of course, they're very dependent on uh, having adequate water as well, so you need a trickle irrigation to make raised bed systems work. This latest line also is uh, trained to what's called a V system, where the trees have just two main scaffolds going out perpendicular to the axis of the row. And that uh, allows higher, earlier production and overall greater production when mature as compared to the older open vase system which the other trees in this orchard are trained to. You might be wondering why I selected the varieties we did. We 
I consulted with a former extension agent and now salesman for Adams County Nursery who sell peaches and apple trees among other things, namely Craig Tailgater who uh, recommended the varieties we've put in the ground here and they've all been well received by our customers. <laughs>